Okay, well, I have all the coils on my little testing device here. This is the Mueller uh, Dynamo. And uh, I'm running up the, this thing tonight on a couple of double A's here. And I've got all the generator coils hooked up, and I'm just driving off two, uh, two of the coils right here. And uh, still using the reed switch at this point. But you see how bright that LED is, is on. That's the flyback on uh, the driver coils right here. And then, uh, like I say, I have all the, the uh, power coils hooked up, but I hooked them up in series because I wanted to start doing some interesting testing uh, with different scenarios. And I've just got it running through one bridge rectifier. All those coils are hooked up in a series to get the voltage up where I wanted it. And then I'm going through the bridge rectifier. And there's voltage on it right there on the capacitor. And that's, that's a small cap. That's like a 1,000 microfarad. It's not a super cap. Watch this LED though, this is a straight up LED. And uh, that's loaded now. The generator's under load, still powering uh, through this thing, and that's loaded up, and there's voltage uh, on that uh, capacitor. And that, that, the way the LED works, it just uh, basically locks in the, clamps the voltage at whatever the thing is rated at. So I'll show this climb back up here again. It goes with the cap again. And like I say, this is not a very big capacitor. It's not a super cap tonight. It's just a regular cap. But I wanted to start working on this charging part of the dynamo and see how the dynamo goes. Now I've got a little radio here so you can hear it. Listen to the RPM when I load it. So maybe you can hear how this loads up. Okay, now I'm going to load this with this thing here. Granted, that's not much of a load. Let me just dead short it out here. You'll see a, a real big change when I do that. It's going to short it out with a screwdriver. See the RPM drop? Now that's under full dead short load. And that's acting just like a normal alternator or generator when you load it down. There's the voltage now on that cap when I short it out. So that is normal. And it goes back up again as soon as I take the uh, the dead short off of it. Climbs back up again, loading up that cap. And there's the LED load on it. So anyway, I'm, I'm doing uh, some very interesting uh, testing and studies on this device. And as, so far, I'm not really seeing anything unusual. But that's just because I'm not doing it the way that Romero did it. Uh, what I've got here is just a plain old regular run-of-the-mill um, generator motor scenario. Um, but I've just started working on it, and I liked what I saw there. That's pretty cool, especially when I load it down. The thing loads up pretty darn good. And you could charge something with this, but here's the downside. I'm pulling 150 milliamps out of those batteries. This is terribly, terribly inefficient at this point. Yeah, like I say, I don't really care because I'm just doing preliminary testing. And of course, once you got an electronically fired circuit and you had the right coil arrangement with the right cores, this might be completely different. But anyway, this was like step two in my learning curve here on the Mueller Dynamo. Thanks for watching.